This is the offense we've been practicing. We're calling it foul line stack. Brennan's running the one. Point guard up top at half court. Landon's running the two guard at the bottom on the right wing there. Cooper's opposite him on the left wing in the red pants. Corey is running the four at the elbow. And Bryce is running the five spot on the left block. So if your kid is a smaller kid, he's probably going to be run, running the one or the two. If he's a bigger kid, he's going to be running the four or the five. And if he's in, kind of in the middle, he might be running anything. So have him pay attention based on uh, about what size these guys are. First time through, we're just going to look at the smaller guys, Brennan, Landon, and Cooper. And first of all, focus on uh Cooper here, I guess. Um, Cooper's running a figure eight all over the floor. Right now, he'll be chasing Brennan. When Brennan comes over the screen, Cooper's going to come over the screen. Both of them are going to cut down the lane, but Brennan will return to where he came from, and Cooper will come to the opposite side. So Cooper's basically chasing the ball everywhere. Point of this screen here, where Landon's coming over, then Cooper's coming over, is to hopefully get Landon or Cooper a layup right here. Landon returns to where he came from. Cooper follows the ball. Cooper really needs to be more way over there in the corner so his defender isn't up on the ball too. But it's over and over again. The ball comes over the screen, then Cooper comes over the screen. Again, Landon will come over the screen high when he doesn't see anything open. Pass opposite to Brennan, cut through the lane, and then Cooper comes off the screen down the lane, and Cooper follows the ball. So Cooper's the three. He runs a figure eight all over the court chasing the ball. Brennan, the one, is going to run circles on the left side of the court, off the screen and back to where he came from. And Landon's running circles on the right side of the court, off the screen right here, and then back to where he came from. <clears throat> Let's look at it again, focusing on the four and the five this time. That's Corey in all blue, and that's Bryce in the white tank and black pants. Those are our bigger guys. <clears throat> So they'll start on the elbow at the free throw line for Corey and at the block for Bryce. And pretty much the whole time they're going to be setting screens for our guards. And once all the guards come through, cycle through, they'll set screens for each other. So this first time, Landon's going to cut to get open. And Brennan's going to flash down the lane. Corey's going to be setting a screen first for Cooper right here. Cooper's the last guy to clear out so he's gonna come down Corey's gonna come down and set a screen for Bryce. Corey rolls opening up calling for the ball on the block now. Landing over the screen Cooper's coming over the screen now all our guards are through so Bryce is screening down for Corey. Now Bryce is rolling to the ball calling for the ball trying to get it on the block there and Corey comes to the high elbow Nothing's open, so Brennan's off the screen from Corey. Then Cooper's off the screen from Corey. Then Corey screens down again for Bryce. And Corey will roll to the ball, looking for the ball on the block. And Bryce is popping high to the elbow, looking for the ball there. Nothing again. Landing over the screen. Cooper over the screen. All our guards are through, so Bryce comes back down to set a screen for Corey. Roll to the ball, and Corey flashes high to the elbow. We don't run any defense in this right now, um, and it's been really difficult for us to put defense in because the guys want to run to these spots. So um, <clears throat> running to the spots is a good, good way to start this, but um, as we put some defense in, 
it'll become more obvious that we're really bad at making passes when we're guarded and everybody when they get the ball they just want to dribble so that's a couple things we need to work work on especially like right here with Landon this needs to be Landon catching the ball squaring up to the basket keeping the ball safe without dribbling while all this goes on now he can dribble and come over the screen and waiting that long has been really difficult for us something we need to practice <clears throat> this time when we're watching it I wanted to focus on especially our timing um, it's really important that we get our timing of our cuts down uh, as in any play that you run if one person's in the wrong place at the wrong time, it messes everything up. So, especially as we're trying to cut down the lane and find guys open for layups, we can't have other guys coming across the lane at the same time. Um, so, look for that this time as we come through. And... Opening cut is landed to get open for the ball. Brennan cutting down the lane, so Cooper needs to wait till he's clear. Now Cooper's coming across. That's good. That's good. But now Cooper needs to get out of there in time for us to look for a pass to Bryce or Corey. This time our timing is Cooper needs to give Landon enough time to be alone in the lane there. Then he needs to be alone in the lane for a second. Then Bryce needs to have a second alone with none of our offense in the way. Same thing here. Brennan needs just a second in the lane by himself. Cooper needs a second in the lane by himself if he's not open. Corey will need a second. Cooper really needs to already be out of the way. So if that's open to Corey on the block, we can make the pass. This time... Landon needs a second in the lane by himself, and then Cooper by himself. And Cooper needs to get over there to the corner fast so Bryce can be open right here. Right now, Cooper's in the way. Brennan can't make that pass. So our spacing on the floor where we're not standing next to each other is important. We can't be running too close to one another, and we can't be standing in the passing lane. When there's a pass available, it needs to be clear. So our guards can make that pass to the post if it's open. So go back through and uh, maybe watch the video on mute and have your kid just uh, pick somebody and talk about where that person's supposed to be going, what they're supposed to be doing, maybe what they did wrong or what they did right, and how to correct those things. Um, Everybody really needs to know where everybody's going. So even if uh, Brennan will never play the five, he needs to know where the five's going so he knows where to pass the ball. But people like Bryce might play the one, so he needs to know every spot too. So go through and watch different guys in different positions.